Hey everyone, welcome back to City Zoo. And um, today we're building a mountain lion enclosure suggested by Etor Baroli. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but thank you for the suggestion. Um, I do have like one other episode planned. Not for the whole series, but at the current moment. I know I want this series to be like 30 episodes long. But I'm just losing like motivation. I probably will come back to this um, series eventually. Probably like soon. Because maybe around episode 12 I'll start working on something else. And then come back to this one maybe in like a month or two. Because I, I just need a break from it. I know we're only on episode... I think it's 8, but... I just get burned out so quickly. But anyways, talking about the habitat, um, the reference photo I was using had this like cool, like, like um, vine arch. So I'm probably be building it in a second. But um, you probably see that way better in the tour. It it looks so much cooler on the ground. But yeah, I guess you guys will be hearing me for the tour. Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, yeah, this is the, like, the cool vine thing I was talking about. It, it, I think this is just so cool. Um, I'll talk about the enclosure in a second. Um, here's the rock viewing area. Um, <laughs> the mountain lion is completely oversized. I looked all over, like, my mod platform. So, um, I could not find a mountain lion mod. And the closest I could possibly get was, like, a lion mod. That... It, it uh, didn't have any female lines, so this is the, the, the only female line I could find. Which was in the original mod pack that I was using, so I just kind of used it. It is way oversized, but... I mean, I'm probably going to put a black bear next to it that it's also very oversized, so I guess it'll just kind of fit and make it feel a little smaller. And then, um, I guess I'll, yeah, run over to the habitat. So... Have like birch fence continuing from over there, just all the way around. Um, I did this little off camera, but I made like a little zookeeper path to here because I re I realized I forgot it. Um, here's the, like the cave. I had some plants inside. I it took me so long to figure out how to get, get this waterfall to work. It goes like really really deep in there, and I just kind of 
slides down here. I do the same trick over here, over here, where I just put it really deep in and kind of just hope, and I had to build the walls and stuff. Pretty sure this stuff's, like, really, really obvious. And then here, I did the exact same thing, except for have it flow into nothing. And then, yeah, and then I add some rocks around to make it feel more mountain-y. Tied these two things, though I feel like the water tied these things together really well. Just, I, I just like to say I love this new tough slab already. Like, I've not used any of the other, like, blocks. Like, I know I'm going to be making a butterfly observatory next. And I'm going to use, like, the copper grates. But, um, I just adore these tough, like, slabs. Because I can actually make, like, good-looking rocks. Like, the stone, it's okay, but it doesn't have much texture to it. Which I just love. This looks so much like fake rocks. I love it. Uh, um... But yeah, anyways, that's it for the tour, so I guess I'll see you next time.